Oh, hello, the craft of the world. And I'm trying to find out how to hack resources. You know, I got this these coins from my previous hack when when it was working more easily, but I guess because of multiplayer they added some security. You can't hack the coins directly. So I found the uh, promising values that work, but I don't know. I'll try to search for unknown initial value in four bytes. And I'll, I'll search for unchanged. And then I'm gonna purchase something cheap for one coin. So it went down, I'll search basically for decreased by one. Then I'll search again. Unchanged I guess. Repeat the scan. Oh, huh. I wonder if these are the same values. Let's see. I'll copy these. And then I'm gonna increase them. Okay, I'm gonna add this formula. Just to help calculations and I'm gonna use these new numbers let's see if they work if I update all these numbers by one let's see what happens to the gold it's back to 510 if I try to increase it I don't know for 12 more than it will should go back to zero instead but if I change them back to let's see yeah see so I can't go that that far so basically I found a way to freeze them and let's try to or increase them a little bit but I don't know what the underlying algorithm is for them Oops. Let's see. oh 511 now and if I spend them you can see that it works so in your game you can you know this value just displays this thing and it goes out of sync with the shop value if you try to update so don't even bother with it and the last thing I can do you know I can oh no I can attach the thing and it just you know it's when you spend some resources it's harder to demonstrate when you gain some resources because the coins you don't get the coins as consistently but when you spend the coins this code is is executed I mean where is it showing this somewhere so basically it writes some kind of value this one no it compares them Is this the one? No. Oh, basically this thing. Yeah. See? It compares two values. This value with the register value. And then it, it uh, you know, updates our gold in this address. 
with EAX value which is basically one less like if we had five ten coins it, this EAX is five nine and it writes this new value and it displays in this label so it, I don't know or yeah so that's how far I've gotten with a uh, with coins hack because they changed change things around now and if I try to intercept this thing well I guess I need to intercept writing to both of these values well, let's see what happens actually it's a bit sharp oh nice at least I can freeze the coins this way Oh, I didn't think about that. So yeah, if you have at least, I would say, it, three coins, uh, how far, how fast the uh, search for these addresses? Um, not sure. But if you find these two values, you can just freeze them, and your gold, you know, shop gold. See, I have five nine coins because of the freeze, right? But uh, the shop displays it as five eight, so that could that could be an answer, you know, to 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 further crack the gold value. So thanks for watching. Maybe you have better uh, what's it called cheat engine skills. You could help out with this crack. I'd really love to you know master cheat engine especially searching for values and, and analyzing you know writing up for for example how the game calculates that EAX value yeah I mean where is it yeah to hack this value and you know write like for example 999 gold every time when something happens to your gold instead of decreasing it thanks for watching and the way you spend gold is you buy warehouses, you buy elevators right off the bat and just, you know, set up your defense for the base.